Hello, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Today I have this lovely envelope bunch pod project for you, um, which is a lovely um, little chocolate holder that's designed for a galaxy gift for you. This is the All Is Calm designer series paper, which is just gorgeous. I'm going to use the Under the Tree um, specialty paper today, which is this, I'm going to use this lovely piece that's um, Cherry Cobbler. This paper's Kind of thicker than paper it's more of a more of a cardstock weight i just it's just gorgeous so before we get to the envelope punch board i've got a piece of cherry cobbler um cardstock and i've got this stamp set which is the hello there stamp set and i'm going to use this so sweet of you stamp um, and i'm going to heat emboss it so i've got my stamp already mounted onto my block and my versamark pad and i've got ink up Oh, there's my computer telling me that uh, another one of my video projects is finally done. <laughs> Busy day in the craft room today. I'm going to heat emboss this in gold. Um, and I just happen to have um, the gold embossing powder that I happen to have is um, Zing by American Crafts. But Stampin' Up! do sell one that is gorgeous. So I'm just going to pop that on there and just funnel this back in. And then I've just remembered that last time I tried to use my heat gun, my, it wasn't it wasn't all all that keen on me. So let's hope and pray today that my the heat gun gods are uh, being nice. This heat gun is absolutely dying. Um, oh, it is going to work. I really need a new one. There's just other things on my list at the moment that I could do with a bit more. So to heat that up. I love heat embossing. I just love watching the watching it change from powder into. There we go. Gorgeous. Right. So that's that. I'm just going to stamp um stamp punch that out with my decorative labels. Punch. So I've got I've got a very small desk and I do apologise, I'm all over the place. Right, I've got my envelope punch board and my piece of cardstock and this piece of cardstock is cut to five and a half inches by five and a half inches and we're going, I've purposely not done this in metric um, purely because the envelope punch board works best in Imperial. These letters here are um, letters, these numbers here are much bigger. There are metric measurements underneath, but I just find it much easier to use these Imperial ones up at the top. So and to pop our cardstock in at two and three quarters of an inch. And the envelope punch board works by punching. This is like I said, this really thick cardstock and scoring. And then we're going to slide it up to three and a half inches and punch again and score. And now we don't need to do any more measuring. We're just going to use this little tab here um, lines up with the score lines that you've made. So punch and score and slide it up to the next score line and punch score I turn it around again and we just do that on all four sides because this under the tree paper is so thick um, it really isn't paper at all it's much more like cardstock um, it does take a little bit of effort to do this with um, no need to go to the gym today for me, I don't think. So, that's that. So I can move the envelope punch board out of the way. Let's move those pieces. And I'm just going to turn the envelope punch board round, actually, and round off all the... Um, round the corners. Oh, 
I love the envelope punch board for that. It's a double sided punch, so you've got your envelopes punch on one side and a lovely corner rounder at the back. So, we're going to fold and burnish on all of the score lines we've, we've created with the envelope punch board. Stampin' Up! now actually have two gift box, um, two punch boards. There's the envelope punch board and the gift box punch board as well, which makes lovely um, little, little gift boxes. Um, in a selection of sizes um, for easy packaging projects. That's the other words I'm looking for. So now we're going to take our paper snips and we've got little squares and we're going to cut off the cut the little squares off all together. So more scissors needed. Okay. Cut down the score lines to cut those pieces off. And last one. Like so. So now you there's a decision to make now whether you want your gift box punch board to be like to open with one of these big flaps or one of these little flaps. I'm going to use, this is my um, lid flap if you like, so my bottom's going to come up like that. I'm going to bring two the two sides in like that. So I'm going to pop, um, I think I'm going to use some fast views today actually. One problem with stamp up, too, too many choices of adhesive. <laughs> For this one, because this one's only DSP, I've used um, glue dots. I'm not completely convinced that glue dots are going to be strong enough for this. So, oh my god, oh, collection of noises happening in here today. So, <laughs> I've got, that's how my project's going to be. So I'm going to pop some fast fuse on these edges just here. Fast fuse is a lovely adhesive, new to stamping up in this annual catalogue um, and it's like sticky strip that didn't work that one did it um, um, in the fact that it's a nice strong adhesive um, but it's in a roller which is lovely uh, nice no, no more fighting with the red line tape so to make the box we're going to pop Actually, I think I will actually put my chocolate in ready. So, pop your chocolate in and then bring the sides over. And then there's just the lid, the lid envelope of the envelope to just slot down there. And I am actually going to use a glue dot just to keep it closed. So I'll take a glue dot and my paper piercer. I, have a, I keep a paper piercer just for adhesives. I'm just going to fold that round and pop it down and then we have our um, little label that we heat embossed and I've just got some crumb cake ink and my sponge and I'm just going to sp just sponge the edges of this just to, to make it I, I'm actually starting to get a bit obsessed with sponging edges. I blame poodles. Sorry Sam but you get the blame for a lot of things. <laughs> um, and I'm going to pop that up on some, oh, a couple of dimensionals. And there's the front. There we are. That's my lovely gift for you um, little box. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.